I want to open up a critical thinking school for the youth to get their minds back in order to solve things and not run to other places for solution, solution, solution. Welcome back to the House of Healing. The Healing Squad is back with the House of Healing family in the building presenting nothing but solutions and not just talking about the problems. Check it out. That's my end goal and also to uh, buy some land and live off the land. And I wanna pass my land off to the children that I have left or my flesh and blood. That's pretty much it. Amazing words of wisdom. Um, definitely appreciate you coming through and showing support and I'm glad you are part of the House of Healing. I see you got the herb on your name. You pop. Uh, talk to us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, what you, have you learned coming to the panel and what are some of the stuff that you can take with you? Um, thanks, uh, Yisrael. Um, I learned a lot from y'all, man. Um, basically, I get encouragement because, you know, I'm kind of into uh, what you're talking about. So, you know, um, when I got here, it was kind of cool because that's what I'm into. So I'm learning more about it. And that's what I come to do, just sit around and um, see what I can gain, like the type of insight I can gain from y'all, that's all. All right, looking for the insight, looking to gain and retain the information and hopefully apply it to his life, right? So he can teach other people how to do it to their life. So what's going on, T, um, T Anthony? How you feeling? Good, how y'all doing tonight? Yeah, good, good. Doing? good. Tell us, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming through. Tell us good, a little bit about good. yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself, um, how you met us, and, you know, what are some of the things that, that you know, some of the solutions that you can provide for us to get us out of this condition we're in today? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, yesterday or the day before, was it yesterday? I think it was. Yesterday, I uh, came up here by mistake. I didn't even know I was up here. And I just so happened to be in, I think, unraveling, unraveling, unraveling's room. And um, it had really surprised me and touched me because everybody in this room was into what I was into. And I don't really have any friends right here where I stay or anything. It's just me and my family. And so I don't have a lot of friends that I talk to or anything like that. I just have family. So um, I know it was, it, was a, it was a reason for that to happen, for my page to have got hacked and get shut down and banned and stuff like that. And then for me to have come up here on Bego and really just, I don't even know how I got into the room, but had got into this room like this and to have met these people, I know it was only by the grace of God. So I'm very thankful to have been able to, you know, be at the right place at the right time, so to speak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though it was only online, like it's just on the internet, but people don't know, you know, it, you can, God works through people, places, things, everything like that, you know, because God is in everything. So you, you, don't, you don't really know how it's going to happen. It's just unexpected. You have a beautiful story. Thank you. Thank you very Absolutely. much. I, I feel Absolutely. like my story just beginning, really, you know, because, um, like I said, I'm just, I, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't really do this for, to, you know, be out here for clout or meeting people or, you know, I just know God is going to put me in the place that I'm supposed to be, where I'm supposed to be, and whoever I meet, I guess, is destined for me to meet them. And the most yeah. beautiful thing that you mentioned was, he was doing that shadow work. A lot of people think that's demonic or some voodoo, but if you study the scriptures, Jeremiah, his name is Jeremiah, which means Yah will exalt because he was trying to reach that higher level. He said, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, a shadow worker. Proverbs 6, 23 right. says, um, says, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproof of instructions are the way of life. So in order to get out of that dark tunnel, I need a lamp and I need a light. The light, according to the scriptures, is the commandments. Um, the um, 
and the law is dealing with the you know laws. So we got the commandments, which is the lamp, and the law, which is the light. You need both of them to come together to get out of that dark tunnel. Well, we are full of light, and we're bringing other light workers in the room, empaths, shadow workers, star seeds, um, Israelites, Nazarites, right? Even some Christians, whatever sect you're in, I just want you to keep this in mind. Religion means to hold back from consciousness. Re, reopen, retwist. The R-E means to re hold back. We don't want to be held back from consciousness. The scripture says the truth will set you free. So we need to get that truth that's in there, you know, that's going to set us free. Because people talk about the Bible have so many contradictions and, you know, who wrote it and who is King James and who is this and that. We need to keep this in mind. Yes, the Bible does have contradictions in it. I would not say the Bible is the truth, but I say it has truth in it. We can take the truth and apply it to our life. And I wanted to share the Psalm 32 and 8 with you. And it just say that. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, and I will guide you with my eye. Hey, that's beautiful, brother. Can you get that Matthew? Can you get that Matthew six and twenty-two too? The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thine whole body shall be full of light. So y'all hear that? The light of the body is the eye. If you read Genesis 32, verse 30, it says, and Yaqub called the name of the place Pineal, for I have seen God face to face. We know the scripture says, you know, if you see God, you're going to die, of course, with your physical eyes. But if you, if you use that Pineal, which is getting more towards spiritual, you can see the most high face to face. Right. Well, let's read some more of that. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore mm. the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So if your eyes evil, hating on your brothers, right, having sex with your homeboy wife, if your eyes evil, then your whole body gonna be full of darkness. You live your life in dark. Everything you do is darkness. Watching porn, going to the strip club. You know, all this stuff you do is everything is just based off of darkness, right? You're hurting people, always talking about people, you're talking about everybody, always, always being a little, just singing like a bird. You you can't you can't not say nothing positive about people. Always something negative. Let's keep reading. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve two masters. Remember, you have two sides of you. You have a conscience. And you have your righteousness that's in the way. You have good in you and you have some bad in you, too. So before you point fingers at other people, remove the moat from your eye so you can see clearly to remove the moat from your brother's eye. That word is a lamp unto my feet and that and a light unto my path. OK, so you was raised in darkness. You was raised in the slums. Right. So you was raised in darkness. But you found out that the word is a lamp and a light unto my path. You walk through the valley with that light because it's the light to your path. It's the instructions. So you need to bring the light and, and this lamp together. Bring these commandments and these laws together so you can create, be, create a civilization dealing with law, agriculture, farming, and cropping, and always representing the most high. Always always let your light so shine before man so you can see your good works. You can be glorified by the Father. We, as the House of Healing, we are here to talk about water, about food, about civilization, about us getting out of this hell hole. All right, humble under God seven. What's going on? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, do you have any solutions that can get our people out of the condition we're in today? And what are some of the things that you want to share? Oh yes, yes I do. Um, do you mind? I want to ask you a question. Uh, who is that? Who is that man that's behind you on the wall? Who is he? He is a image of the te the temple of God. Mm, what is what does the Bible say about images? Well, the spirit can enter into the heart, mind, and soul of anybody because we're the temple of God, obeying the greatest commandment. So it's not the outside of the cup that counts; it's the inside of the cup that counts. Okay, what I want to do, I want to go inside the book in the book of Revelations because there's something I want to reveal to you. Um, okay. let's let's talk about Revelations one verse one. Read that for me, you poop. You got it. You pop. Revelation one. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto the servant John. So John is called Yachanah. 
John was going to get a revelation. He was going to see something. Let's keep reading and see what John was going to see. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Key word, all things that he saw. Vision, he saw these things. Let's read the next verse. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand and these Edomites is on the run to try to mess up these scriptures. But we're going to get right back to it. So we, we just now learned that John, the revelator, or what you would call Yakana in Hebrew, we're going to learn about what he saw. What did John see? Okay. Let's skip down to verse 8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. At Revelation 13 verse 10 says this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Go into captivity. He that yeah. kills with the sword must shall be, be killed, killed with the sword. With the sword. What do you think? Let's talk about him. Yeah. Words, words, words. It's all about words from the heart, whether they be dark or light, sinful or holy. So well, you can't make this up, y'all. You can't make this up. Yeah, no. Hallelujah, <laughs> It's coming out. It's coming out, y'all. Praise <laughs> God. Was he just Thank speaking me. a tongue or something? Uh -oh. Yeah, he was. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen, listen, like there's a, a big, monkey. I got I to gotta tell you something about speaking in tongues. There's a big difference between gibberish and clarity. When God oh, said God. water, when God said water, man, the son of man said, hey, we drink that and we fish in that. But God said, well, no, be washed by the washing of the water of the word. So there's seawater, which is bitter, and there's pure water, which is clean. So speak the word of God for the heart. Well, now the belly what is he talking about? That's what happens when you try to repeat something you heard another person say and didn't quite grasp it yourself. Let's continue. The beast dwells in the sea of the understanding of man in sin. What? Humble, 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 humble. The, yeah, 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 when you yeah. say that, because you say the under, yeah. how do you get under, how do you get understanding according to the Bible, humble? How do you get the understanding? <laughs> The understanding is when you hear the, the he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith. So when God speaks to those that are sanctified, we shall have pure water because this word, the word of God, the Lord said that is spoken. What? Yeah, the truth. What are you talking you know about? You are a high priest. You have to order Melchizedek. Do not give any tithe to another man. Because you are responsible for your own blessings. Hey, so you're out of the like so you know who and if I were in there, is. yes, I what? am. Ye, ye are a high priest after order Melchizedek through faith. Who are you talking about? Though. Though. Like you can't Who's be Melchizedek you? is the, the yes, I am. I am the son of God. Period. We're talking about principal powers here, spiritual powers. We're what, not walking what after are you the flesh. Talking about? We're not walking after the what flesh. We're walking about? after the spirit. In the spirit, after the spirit, we walk after the spirit. The spirit, the spirit is wicked, huh? Only to those who are not that are filthy, that are in, that are breaking the Ten Commandments under the law. Got ten fingers, ten commandments. Don't break them. It's, it's, do you realize that it's six hundred and thirteen commandments in the Bible? Did you know that? Exactly. Hmm. You know, I, I really appreciate that, that wisdom. And I, hey, you know what? I'm we thank you for that. the edification. I thank you for the edification. Six hundred and thirteen commandments in the Bible. Thank you. Oh well, I know there's ten. Did you know, did you know that the Bible was written for the the Nazarites, oh, wait the Israelites, and the Hold Hebrews? It. Did you know that? I'm gonna ap I apologize. I didn't mean to say the word Bible because that's only on the cover. It's not within. And Christians only use a few times. We know what? what's inside of you. <laughs> hey, humble. Hey, humble. I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> yes. Do you, do you okay. celebrate Christmas? Celebrate Christmas. <laughs> I have a saying. Every day is Christmas. It's the Christ Mass. That's not Every what that, this is what he asked you. Okay. Why don't you answer Every, questions? Okay, what is Christmas then? I need to know. Yeah, Christ, a Christ, with a question. The root word is Christ and Mass. The Mass of Christ. What? 
Why not? December 25th, do you humble. Really, do, you, do you really believe that? Oh, yeah. Do you know <laughs> what you're talking about? Listen. Who's there? Christmas. Christ. Get go to that door, man. You, you, wait. Hey, 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 hey humble, do, right. humble, do not go hump that dog happy. tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. We just proved to you. The Son of God. Thank you. We we proved to us, us. G, he is us. Jesus. Christ. What? what are your thoughts on the vaccine, Humble? Um, God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but that of a sound mind and self-discipline. Why should you do such a thing? No, keep that away from me. This is that's if she, if that's what someone wants to do, that's their business, not mine. <laughs> Why did you come here again, humble? <laughs> Why? Did, because I love God. <laughs> you, know, you guys have wisdom. I need me. Hey, but hey, humble. But the question is, the God does God love you? That's the question. Ooh. Hmm. Who would I be if I'm dead? There's no other than what? God. Yes, that's right. I die daily. I no longer, I no longer live. Yet the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Who came? I am the one. <laughs> hey, you know who you remind me of, y'all. Hey, that's, you know who you talking that's to. That's what. That's what you don't want to. That's what you don't want to relinquish. You want to keep your power. You want to keep your dominance. But it's over. And you want to accept right. that. That's you all I've been trying to do. Yeah, the only thing I'm trying to do is give the power, the, give wisdom, give knowledge, give unity, give peace of God. Show us the way and the path of wisdom. Chapter 8 of Proverbs. Her, she, mother, Jerusalem, Christ in us. This is a combination of all the 144,000 that the Lord said out of the mouth of you. Who is the 144,000? Who will they be? Who will the 140,000? Yes, right there. Yes, right there. Scotty, your name, you should call yourself Scotty. You should change your name. I mean, I'm sorry. I've been calling you Scotty because because you were definitely on a Starship Enterprise. Listen, <laughs> you shouldn't call yourself humble under God. You should call yourself Lego. You should change your name to Lego because that's what Esau exactly. was hollering when, when Jacob was trying to pull his ass back in that dark black portal into this planet of existence. You understand? He was trying to snatch his ass right back in because he already knew what was cracked. Hey, let me tell you something. That's what <laughs> That's why you ain't never seen a black Lego. It's because that's Esau. They think they the master building. That's what he was yelling. Okay. That's what you learned today. Lego. That's wisdom. <laughs> that's funny. That's like that's you know why that's funny? Because that is a comedy tongue. is truth exposed. Because comedy is truth yeah. exposed. That's what's funny. Yes, yes, humble, yes. Just, just, just humble yourself, yes. man. Come on. Just okay. humble yourself. All right. All right. You have any advice? We've been giving you no We've been giving you nothing but truth. Nothing but truth. Yeah. Scripture by scripture. We've given you nothing yeah. but truth. And you fail to yeah. accept it because you want to remain dominant. You want to oh. remain in power. Oh, superior. And, and, and you're not. We proved that to you <laughs> over We're and over, over by scripture by right. scripture. Hold it. Hey, hold, there's one, there's, that means we're one. You are you are just as equal. Equal? Huh? Yeah, we are. You're not equal yeah. to me. What are you talking about? You are not equal. Oh, I'm, I'm being <sighs> humble, poor. I'm be, I'm being poor in spirit. The least is the greatest. The spirit is what? the spirit is wicked, though, humble. Remember who Jacob plowed and Ephraim rode. The least huh? is what? the greatest. And okay, what in Hosea, are you talking about? Okay, 
it's hard, this is a memory that I'm trying to recall in the book of Hosea chapter 6, or somewhere around there, where Jacob plowed, and Es Ephraim broke, or no, who broke, okay, Jacob broke the clods, and Ephraim, I'm not sure what he did. I, somebody oh, well, do you know that right? Ephraim is a part of the northern kingdom, and that would be the that would be the so-called Puerto Ricans of today, the the thing, the, the Negro descent Puerto Ricans. Did you know that? That's I'm northern already kingdom. Pretty hard. <laughs> Thank you. I thought it was the Russians out there, where it's really cold. <laughs> See, you 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 take me you take this as a joke. You take this as a joke, and we are trying to no. teach you. Okay, I'm not this we're is trying funny, to teach though. you, and you and you taking it as a joke. You you think no. we're playing with you? This is the no. truth. Yeah. Humble, it's over. Yes. We are here no. now. Okay, thank you. Just humble yourself, <sighs> huh? Come on, all right. Come on, all right. just humble yourself. I agree. All right. Hey, hey, humble. Um, uh, what did they say? What did they say the color of the devil was? When we was growing up. Hmm, that's a good question. I never asked about that. What is he's all he's what, what he's he uh wait a second, God, what color is the devil? Oh, he's uh well remember whenever Peter yeah. was talking to the Son of God and and the Lord said to him, yeah, Get thee behind Peter me, Satan. I know. I know that. <laughs> he said get he actually looked at Peter, one of the the, the twelve, and yeah, he said, Get thee behind yeah. me, Satan. Yeah, that, the that Lord rebuke you. Oh, so written. what, what color is this, this Satan thing? You know, when I was growing up, I always all, thought that all, the devil right. was this I red just, man with a pitchfork and stuff like that. I know who he is. I know, I know his color now. It just it took me a second. He oh, is all colors. All of them. All colors. Babylon the Great. Yeah, Babylon the Great. Yeah. The devil is every man in knowing sin that is breaking the Ten Commandments cast humble. under the earth, earthy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Humble. Humble. Come on. Just stop trying yeah, to cover yeah. everything up. You know the truth. Stop <laughs> trying to cover it up. You know the How? truth. Yeah. How? We That's, just gave it to yeah. you. We gave you yeah. the truth, sim uh, scripture by scripture. And you keep trying to well, bring your scripture in, which don't count. Humble. Just humble yourself, man. Because you're reading from my book. Yeah. It's our book, Actually, not yours. I haven't been able to read much, but if I start reading, the wind will blow. What? From the east. What are you? Step out. Step outside and see which way the wind's blowing. Wet your finger. Try it. I'll, come, I'll be coming from the east. Hey, humble. You know the Jesus eagle. said he without saying cast the first stone. He didn't say he without saying pick up the stone and smoke it. Humble. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing, yeah, and you know what? I, 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 I do cast a stumbling stone in Zion, or I lay a stumbling stone in but Zion. You can't, you can't we smoke do the stumble. stones, humble. You can't smoke the stone. He didn't say smoke it. Yeah, exactly. You know, Peter's rock, and so oh, forth. Come on, 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 you know, I'll be honest with you. I've done drugs. You did, in the you past, did, you did the heavy. You did that. We know you did the heavy stuff, right? I have, yeah. I, I'm. Uh, three cool years years clean clean clean. Clean. I'm, I'm three years clean you, and sober now. Not, not a drop of alcohol at all. In this. Congratulations, but you still, yeah, you yeah. still drunk off. You still drunk off religion, though. Oh, forget that's religion. That's for the that that's for those people that go to church. I don't go to church. They, they got, cast you got me out of every image. You got a white image of Jesus Christ <laughs> on your wall. Jeez. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Shit. You wait a minute. Yeah. You said they cast yeah. you out. Why? Why did they yeah. cast you out? Because, you because I went there and I told, I told them the truth and they just would not believe Did in the light. You told them that Jesus Christ is a black man with woolly hair and bronze feet? Is that why they kicked I you busted, out? I, I busted into the church and I said, this is the valley of the dry bones. And then he said, all right, that's it. You're out of here. And grabbed me by the arm and threw me out the front door. No, 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 no. On that, no. Did on that you, church. Did you, did you, did you humble? No. Did you yeah. burst in and tell them your know, Jesus is a black man? Did you tell them that? Well, yeah. Did I, you I, go? You know, did you? Did you, you know go what? When I got when, and show when I was able to yes, listen. When I was when I'm able to achieve that level, I wouldn't even waste my time to tell him the truth that Jesus is a black man. 
See, you, you just told you. You, you, had, you had to tell them a lie. No, I just, it wouldn't waste my time. They would, they would be like, uh, <laughs> you know what? He actually asked me if I was Jesus Christ, and I told him the truth. So you are, are you? Jesus Christ? Who's Jesus? Ask me that. Who's and Jesus? Then ask me who. <laughs> Jesus, oh, Jesus, Jesus is Jesus is the body. We are the temple of God. That's seen with the eyes. Christ is First Corinthians one thirty, one of my favorite verses. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God has made unto us Christ Jesus. That means the Spirit can we can have the Spirit of God in sanctification. Let me let me uh, let me ask you this humble. Let me ask you this humble. Yeah. Let me ask you this humble. Yeah. Is there a right. J in Hebrew? Is there a J what? in Hebrew? Is there a J uh, in Hebrew? You know, that's a good that's a good question. Um, can I ask one question first? Go ahead. What is is Hebrew the Old Testament? Is that what that means? No, New Testament. He, he don't know. That's a good question to ask. So the whole Bible yeah. was written in Hebrew, humble. The whole Bible from the it was written in like New Testament was written in Greek, uh, Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Did you know that? You didn't even know that, right? Well, not, I mean, sort of, but not for sure. No, I really, that's well, the truth. Well, now you know. Well, now you know. Now you know. Thanks. Now you know. Thanks. You had, um, Thanks. You had, Thanks, you had Greek, you had Greek right. speaking oh. Jews in that land. So, long story short, humble. Your, your wife just humble. said that, that Jesus was a chocolate man. That's what your wife said. Oh, well, yeah. You know, we're, does we it make are you, does not. Does it, does it make you angry? Does it make you angry she well, said listen, that? Listen, not at all. You know, she knows how I am. She knows that I believe 100% that we all have red blood and the power of the tongue to speak the word of God. And the Lord said, and the Lord said, out of the mouth of us that are sanctified and holy. What? Here you come with this sanctified yes. again. What are you talking well, about? Well, look, uh, Esau. Look, yeah. Esau. Oh, 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 Esau. I found it. 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 Listen, read this is it, this is the Corinthians chapter one, verse two. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. Oh, humble, humble. Who is the saints? Who is the saints according to the Bible, humble? Who is the saints? Well, there's the only way you can have any communion or bread or water or, or even wine in the kingdom of humble, God is those humble, who are holy. Humble. Read Ezekiel 38:17. Read Ezekiel 38:17 so we can see who the saints are. Are you saying Israel? No, Israel. I, I want to no, see no. what the Bible says. Ezekiel thirty-eight seventeen. Cause you you mentioned the saints, so we need to see who the saints are. Ezekiel uh, thirty-eight seventeen. What? Cause the saint the saints about to come marching in right now. We are about to march in and destroy Ezekiel. the Edomite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Ezekiel thirty-eight seventeen. I love 17. God. <laughs> but I tipped God together. Yes. Anyways, back to Ezekiel. Cause you know what oh, yeah. Ezekiel thirty-eight seventeen that the, the servants and the prophets of the children of Israel, and you're speaking to them humble. So humble. Okay. You know, uh, yeah. you know, um, I don't know how else to do this. Um, but what I'm trying to tell you is just get prepared because it's, it's going to be a lot of cotton in the field. And you're yeah. going to be out there day and night picking it. <laughs> and, all right. And if yeah. you miss one batch, that's that's eight lashes. Okay. Hmm. You're gonna Yo. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, you know funny what God says? Check, check this out. God says a son that is without chastisement is no son at all. And I said, hey, wait. I know I'm your son. Chastise me. Well, hey, bang. Check, goes this, my check, check, uh, 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 check this out. What do I feel like I'm in the twilight zone? The twilight zone. The twilight zone. Who did God hate, humble? Oh, seven things, humble. the Lord. Seven things in Proverbs. I knew which. Why do you keep well, bringing that one, one in? I'm, name I'm one thing that, that God hated. Liars. Oh, all liars. Hold on. Anyone what about breaks? that image? What What about that image Whoa. on your wall? Ain't that's a lie? 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 
Well, of the earth, earthy first, but Christ came second. So yeah, if the if the Lord never died and was resurrected, then we wouldn't have any love. Ain't nobody you. What are you talking about? You always know when God's talking because you hear something you never have heard before. <laughs> exactly, because you heard a lot tonight that you never heard before. Hi, Shalom, Shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are. But you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem, because us the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our savior, savior, savior. Man, I, I love this house of healing. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it popping. I just wanted to say that, uh, humble. I hope you learned a lot tonight, and I hope you don't take this as a joke. This is not a joke. This is very serious. This is the reason why a lot of people are in the situations that we are in because of people like you who think that things are a joke and is not taken as serious. I wanted to say to everybody else, have a blessed evening or a blessed morning wherever y'all at, and check out my uh, YouTube channel. Oh, um, humble. Thank Solid you for morning. being the enter Thank you for being the entertainment for tonight, humble. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> I can handle the cross. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -uh, <laughs> laugh is crazy, humble. That laugh is crazy. Uh -uh. Hey, that laugh it's is just... so crazy. Hey, you know why? Because yeah. comedy is too exposed. The only way you can understand it is if you can relate. You know what I mean? And your soul's yeah. gonna speak regardless to, to the truth. Yeah. Every yeah. day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time, from the Healing Squad and the House of Healing family, peace, love, light, and healing. healing.